Still go. It's later. <coughs> you got the Heimlich? And I'm Rich, and today we got a special episode for you where we'll be showing you the top plays and highlights from the month of June. Yes, but first we have to share some exciting news with you guys. We've partnered with the Boston Triathlon to get all SBSers an exclusive discount on their sprint and sprint relay races. If you've never tried the triathlon before, now's your chance. Check out the discounts below and get up to 70% off. Damn, that's a pretty good deal, Maggie. All right, guys, we wanted to spice things up a bit for you this month. Last week, we launched our brand new league, and it's creating some buzz in the SBS world. Let's head over to our Tuesday night street hockey league in Watertown and see how things are going over there. For our first game of the night, we had Move Like Yager in the blue versus the Mighty Dumps in the green. And this game was a good one. Just one minute into the game, Blue comes out shooting and puts two balls in the net within just a few seconds of each other to take a quick 2-0 lead. They continued this lead throughout most of the first quarter, going up 4-1, but Green rallied just before halftime and scores three goals to tie it up at 4-4 going into the break. The tie continued throughout the second half, with a mighty dumps and moves like Yager went goal for goal. With time winding down, both teams looked to break the tie and get the W, but the goalies held tough and this game ended up in a 7-7 tie. Next we have Star Spangled Danglers in the red versus the Crouch Potatoes in purple. This game was all about Red's goalie. He straight killed it for 40 minutes with some pretty amazing goalkeeping. Check out these saves he made. He was moving, blocking, and jamming up those shots to keep Purple out of the net for nearly the entire first half. By the end of the first half, he gave up just one goal off of a slew of shots from Purple. But the second half was all about Red's offense. After being held to two goals in the first half, they put up a five spot in the second half, ending up with seven goals once this one was over. Check out these six shots they put in. The red team was killing it and defeated Purple 7-3. We'll definitely be keeping our eye on this one. Damn, that goalie was definitely making some nice plays out there, but I don't know if he made the top five plays of the month. For the past four weeks, we've been capturing the best highlights and plays from around our leagues, and today we get to show them in a top five countdown. Yes, do you think your team made the top five? Let's go check it out. Coming in at number five, we have health advances down to late in the second half, here we see a nice turnaround jumper and gets fouled to go to the line for a chance to take the lead. Chiming in at number four, we have Bump Spike in the red en route to their finals championship. Red gets this incredible dig and sends the ball over the net for the point. At number three, we have FC Clavio in the gray. Elude the defender, which leads to an absolute snipe off the top crossbar for the goal. Now at number two, we have Hammer Time in the blue, crushing one out of the park, over the fence, and on a Huntington Ave. As you can see, we had some great plays from across our league for the month of June, but this one was head and shoulders above the rest. Checking in at number one, we have Back That Pass Up coming in with an amazing shoestring catch, and this one could be the top play for many months to come. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Rich. I think we need to see that one again. That was pretty epic. I gotta see it again for sure. Roll it. Do you think your team has what it takes to be featured on our top five? If so, email us at sports at socialbostonsports.com to be featured on an upcoming episode of SPSN. We want to see what all you guys got. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. We hope you all had an amazing 4th of July. I'm Maggie Walsh. And I'm Rich King. We out. We out.